Sarah starts off this hour in New York City. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thank you so much for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Um, I have a question about the end of Baby Step 2. I need help negotiating my last student loan. Sorry, I'm really excited and really nervous. Um, just a, a little bit of background. I'm a, I have an irregular income. I'm a classical soprano in New York City, and I'm about to go into a dry spell over the summer, and I want to get this done by the end of June. Um, and it feels like a huge roadblock. I paid off $65,000. And I'm sorry for crying. It's um, okay, kiddo. You're almost there. I can I can see the finish you. line. So you paid off sixty five. How much is the uh, How much is the student loan? The student loan. The principal balance is eight thousand six hundred eighty six. So wait, really so, wait a minute. Slow down. I, say, say again. It's how much? Eight thousand six hundred eighty six is okay. the principal. Okay, eighty six hundred bucks. All right. I gave my first offer of a thousand, and there's a bunch of collection fees on top of it with the. Uh, company who's managing it with okay. the home office there in St. Louis. Is this a is this a with, st- is this a Sally May loan? No, it's not. It's a, it's a, pri- private, it's a private student loan. Sally May is going to be done by May. This is my last loan. Okay, and um, are you behind on this loan? Way, way behind. I haven't made a payment in so long. I can't even remember. Gotcha. Okay, so, so it's really old. You basically, have an unsecured loan. Uh, a mm-hmm. private loan that happened to be used for tuition, so we're calling it a student loan. Okay. And because uh, a government loan, you won't be able to negotiate the balance on exactly. because it's got a government guarantee on it. But this is eighty six hundred dollar principal balance, and it's been years since it's been paid on. Correct. Okay. And what are they saying the balance is total? The home office says eighty six eighty six is principal. Mm-hmm. The collection agency says nineteen k with fees. Mm-hmm. So they've and then I made my first offer yet uh, on Friday for a <laughs> thousand, okay. and they came back today with eleven six. Oh well, that's a nice move, but we're not there yeah. yet. So um, yeah. how much how much can you have by June one before your dress fill starts? By June one, I think I can have maximum four or five okay. if I really hustle. Okay. Um, that's about max. Okay. Right now, I have tw- about twenty-three okay. so that I could give them today. Right. But. Well, the the answer is, um, you know, there, there's no magic pill to this. It's yeah. these guys have obviously figured out that they're not going to get uh, nineteen thousand, um, uh-huh. and uh, they kind of feel like, well, let's see what she what she really does because she made a ridiculous offer. Now we're going to make an eleven thousand dollar offer, which they kind of it's a pretty serious. Nice, nice move on their part. Nice move on the chessboard, yeah. right? Um, yeah. So, um, you know, I, I would just start to have a conversation and go, listen, this is not really about a negotiation. This is about I just don't have much money, mm-hmm. and I want to clear this. And I really mm-hmm. don't have a lot of money. And so I, you, I can negotiate with you, but I don't have the money. And so it doesn't, you know, I, you know, the most I could go would be right now, and I would use an odd number. I have forty three hundred and thirty three dollars that I can get you by the forty forty three hundred and thirty four dollars that I can get you by the end of May. Okay. And that's I've done detailed calculations, and that's the most I'm going to be able to do, and then see what they do. You, you know, okay. and just say, that's all I got, guys. I mean, you can't, I can't negotiate and make money. You know, your, your negotiating technique's not going to make me have money. I don't have exactly. it. I that's just don't I'm have scared. it. Yeah, I just don't have it. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. and, um, and here's the thing. No one has ever been murdered over settling a loan. Yeah. So death is not an option in this discussion. <laughs> You're going to be fine. It's a game. I, know. I it's just a game. feel like I'm so close, no, it, and I want to be done. And it's a game. It. It's a game. Yeah. So you okay. are you're a world class singer, obviously. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yet, when you go to uh, audition, mm-hmm. you get rejected most of the time. Still, don't you? Yes. Okay. That's all this is. Okay. You haven't died from being rejected. As a matter of fact, you have made a career. Of being rejected. Yeah. Made a, because yeah. being rejected is how you get to be accepted. And when yep. you get accepted, when you get the part, that's when, you you know, that's what your career is built on, right? Yeah. And so that's all this is. This is like, okay, I'm going to go take a shot at this part. If I don't get it, my life's not going to end. I'm going to get another part. 
And I'm going to take a shot at these goobers and see if I can get them to do $4,334 by the end of May. And if they flop in the floor and foam at the mouth or something, that's fine. So what? It's just part of the drama, right? Back off from this emotionally and have some fun with it. Okay. If they smell those tears that I'm hearing, they're going to slit your throat, kiddo. Yeah. You, You need to get real arrogant about this and just have some fun with it. Okay. Step back. It's a monopoly game. It's a game. Step back from it emotionally. Enjoy the the sword fight that you're in. Okay. Okay. Because nobody here is going to die. You're going to be great. You're going to get this. Now I don't know exactly what they're going to take. There's no way of knowing, but I yeah. I suspect based on this initial move that you're going to be somewhere, uh, uh, you know, south of seven thousand bucks is going to settle this. That's just my okay. guess, but I don't know exactly. And you might get the forty three hundred dollar deal. I'm just making that number up, by the way. It was just random. See, because it's a game. It's just a game. Yeah, exactly. And the other thing you keep in mind is the guy on the other side of the on the other side of the phone. He has a. It's just his job. It's not his money. Exactly. It's not. And it's, it's your one money. Guy at the home office, and he's just super patient. Oh, and really? He speaks very calmly. It's oh, good. One guy. Yeah. So they're not. Yeah, it's you know, just it's, not a it's team just a coming job. After me. It's just one person. Yeah, it's just a job, and, and, and they it's, haven't it's, come after me. And it's not even. He's got. A, he's just them. got a job, and it's not even a really good job. He has to collect student yeah. loan debt. I mean, what a crappy yeah. job, you know. And so, you yeah. know, it's just a job for him, and and you know, so keep in mind that they, they are not as nearly as emotionally tied to this money as you are because it's not their money. Yeah, this is a game. Enjoy. I just need you to tell me not to cash out my tiny bit of retirement. Don't cash it out. This is a game. Don't cash it out. It's a game. Ride it. It's how many years have been? How many years has it been since you paid on this? Oh my God! Probably at least five. Okay. So if it goes another year, what? What's the matter? Uh, I I don't want want it to. No, I don't want it to. I want you to be debt free. But in the in the scope of your life, don't let them own you over your decision to be debt-free by summer. Don't let them own you. Just play with this. You're fishing. You're fishing. Set the hook, kiddo. Set the hook. You can do this. You call me back if you need some more help. (laughs) This is fun. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. 